Hi guys, Sci-Fi Recapped here. Before we start, warning, spoilers ahead. Today, I'm going to explain a 2010 American action and fantasy movie called The Sorcerer's Apprentice. The movie begins in Britain in 740 AD, when the powerful sorcerer Merlin teaches his secrets and powers to three apprentices, Balthazar, Veronica, and Horvath, in order to win the war between sorcerers. One day, the evil sorceress Morgana Le Fay invades his castle and kills Merlin due to the betrayal of Horvath, who decides to pick sides with the evil. Morgana acquires the power to raise an army of the dead. Despite arriving late, Veronica sacrifices herself for Balthazar and humankind by absorbing the soul of Morgana into her own body. Since Morgana begins to kill Veronica from the inside, Balthazar captures both of them in an inescapable prison called Grimhold. He eventually traps Horvath in the vase-shaped prison as well. Merlin, with his dying breath, gives his last remaining apprentice his dragon ring, ordering him to give it to a prime Merlinian, a chosen Merlin successor, who is the only one that can entirely defeat Morgana. The scene jumps to the year 2000 in New York City, where a 10-year-old Dave Stutler goes on a field trip with the school. He falls in love with one of the students, Becky, and attempts to ask her whether she wants to be his girlfriend or not by sending her a small note. She then leaves it on the bench after answering it. Unfortunately, when Dave tries to pick it up, the note flies away due to strong wind. He chases after it and eventually comes across an antique shop called Arcana Cabana. He is amazed with the stored stuff there and almost breaks one of the antiques while Balthazar shows up and catches it. Dave mentions that he was looking for a note and then just coincidentally ended up here. After hearing that, he hands him Merlin's dragon's ring, which suddenly comes alive and twirls around Dave's finger. He concludes that Dave is the prime Merlinian. While Balthazar is looking for something in the basement, Dave tries the ring which manages to bump the wall every time he moves his finger. A grim hold of Horvath lands in front of him. Not knowing that it stores a dangerous sorcerer within it, he accidentally opens it and Horvath breaks free. Balthazar appears and pushes him toward the ceiling with his magic. The foe fights back and an epic wizard battle ensues in the building. They exchange attacks and it seems like they have an even skill and power. While Horvath tries to take a grim hold that Dave is holding, an ancient urn opens and sucks both him and Balthazar into it. Dave immediately escapes the building and throws the grim hold into the street. He reunites with his teacher and friends, talking nonsense about sorcerers and magic battle inside the building. The teacher goes into the shop and finds nothing. His friends laugh at him when they see he wets his pants, despite him trying to explain that it is caused by a jar filled with water that had broken. Ten years later, Dave has grown up and lives with a friend, Bennett. Turns out that he still keeps the dragon ring with him. He is now a physics student at New York University. There, he finally meets Becky again since they were ten. He talks to her, and the woman still remembers him for his silly action at the Arcana Cabana. After class, Dave follows Becky, who reveals that now she works at the college radio station. Suddenly, lightning strikes the station antenna. Since he is a physics nerd, Dave offers to help and gets it all fixed. Becky is very impressed, and he goes away after that. At his own private lab in a basement, he hears the song played by Becky on the radio and attempts to replay the rhythms of the song, but with lightning bolts that create sounds. Meanwhile, the Grimhold that traps Balthazar and Horvath bursts open and Horvath breaks free. He immediately throws it off the window. Luckily, Balthazar manages to escape from it before it smashes to the ground. Dave returns home and finds Horvath, who asks him where is the Grimhold that he held ten years ago. He admits that he threw it into the street and immediately runs away. Horvath summons a pack of wolves and they chase after Dave. As soon as the wolves attack him, they suddenly turn into cute puppies. Not long after, Balthazar appears with a giant metal eagle and rescues Dave before getting hit by the train. Horvath also manages to survive. At the roof of a building, Balthazar explains that Horvath wants to free his fellow Morganians and enslave humans. Dave begs the sorcerer to keep him out of the sorcerer's problems and lives a normal life. Balthazar discovers that the ring is still with him and orders him to help him get the Grimhold back. He promises that Dave can walk away after finding the vase. Using Balthazar's ability to track a Grimhold, they manage to locate it, which is stored at Chinatown. Dave waits outside while Balthazar goes inside the house. Upstairs, he meets Horvath, who disguises himself as an old Chinese woman and attacks him with a magic spell. 
However, he manages to release one of the Morganians, Sun Lok, who gets knocked out of the building by Balthazar. Using his belt, Sun Lok transforms a fake dragon costume into a real dragon which chases Dave. Meanwhile, Balthazar ties Horvath up and retrieves the Grimhold. Initially having problems casting the magic, Dave eventually manages to throw a fireball on time and they defeat Sun Lok. Balthazar is a man of his word. He asks Dave to return the ring to him since he has helped him, but Dave changes his mind and requests the sorcerer to train him. He hides the grim hold in Dave's private lab where he turns Dave into a sorcerer. Dave steps inside Merlin's circle and he officially becomes Balthasar's apprentice. The training begins where he explains that all sorcerers need the ring to cast a magic spell or they will be powerless and teaches him how to cast a plasma bolt. Dave also learns how to control and create lightning bolts. On the other side, Horvath starts to gather the army. He visits the current living Morganian, Drake Stone, and asks for his help. While having dinner outside Becky's radio station, Dave spots Becky and decides to approach her, leaving the old man alone. The two go down into the subway station where a mugger robs Becky. He chases after him and clumsily uses his magic to knock him out. He returns to Becky with her stuff back, which impresses her since Dave is weak and the robber is much bigger than him. He invites the girl to his lab to study physics together, which she agrees to. The next day, Becky arrives at the lab and he introduces Balthazar as his uncle. There, Dave manages to perform a cool musical show with his Tesla coils, which surprises the girl since it is the music that she played on the radio previously. The next day, Drake confronts Dave in the university bathroom and starts attacking him. Not long after, Horvath arrives and threatens to kill him. He demands to know where the Grimhold is, but fortunately Balthazar shows up just in time. He knocks out Drake and traps Horvath inside the bathroom mirror. Back at the lab, Balthazar explains that the Grimhold actually holds Morgana, who wants to rule the Earth by resurrecting the dead. He also reveals that he is a prime Merlinian who is able to cast magic without a ring. Realizing that Becky will arrive soon, he attempts to clean up the lab but gets frustrated with the mess. With the cleaning spell, he decides to bring the brooms and the mops alive while he goes to shower. However, as he returns, the auto-cleaning brooms transform the lab into a bigger mess with the entire floor flooded. Becky arrives at the lab, but he has to tell her to leave. Dave is overwhelmed and almost gets electrocuted by his own lab equipment, but Balthazar shows up and cleans all the mess with a single hand wave. Balthazar scolds and reminds him not to abuse the sacred art of magic. Dave is fed up with all the expectations that Balthazar demands and eventually gives up, saying that he chose the wrong person to become a prime Merlinian. He then walks out of the lab. Meanwhile, Horvath obtains the school records of Dave and finds out the location of his private lab space. Dave sees Becky hanging out with her friends and leaves. Becky spots him and secretly follows him to the roof of the Chrysler building where she tries to fix the botched date earlier because of the brooms. She tells him that she is impressed with all the effort he has done. At the lab, Balthazar is attacked by Drake who disguises himself as Dave. While he is trapped, Horvath arrives and manages to discover Morgana's Grimhold which is invisible. He also reveals that he betrayed Merlin because of heartbreak. They were once best friends, but Veronica chose Balthazar to be her lover instead of him. He frees himself, but Horvath launches a set of knives towards him. Luckily, Dave arrives and manages to prevent the knives from moving further. The traitor and Drake run away while Dave and Balthazar chase after them. The car pursuit with magically changing vehicles ensues. Horvath gets his revenge by trapping them inside a mirror. They manage to escape from there, but the foes eventually get away as Dave transforms their car into an old 73 Pinto and gets crushed by their truck. After acquiring Morgana's Grimhold, Horvath steals Drake's power and life in order to release the next Morganian, Abigail Williams, since he doesn't need him anymore. She then goes to Becky's radio station and kidnaps her. Unfortunately, Horvath eliminates the poor sorceress as soon as he gets what he wants and takes her necklace. Dave and Balthazar arrive at Drake's apartment and split up. The sorcerer gets trapped in a Persian quick rug trap while Dave retrieves the Grimhold. As soon as he reaches the door, he meets Horvath who holds Becky hostage. He forces Dave to hand over the Grimhold and his dragon ring in exchange for Becky's safety, which he agrees to. Balthazar finally frees himself and catches up with the others, but he is too late. 
However, he understands Dave's decision since he would have done the same thing. After that, Balthazar decides to go after Horvath alone since Dave is still unable to cast any spells without his ring. Dave explains everything to his lover and she wants to get involved in the sorcerer's business. Dave calls his roommate who helps him to install Tesla coils to Balthazar's car. He also finds a note with a necklace telling him to give it to Veronica when this is all over. The trio immediately head to Battery Park, where Horvath plans to release Morgana. Still in Veronica's body, Morgana reawakens and starts the ceremony to raise the dead by creating a huge circle. Dave pulls over and tells Becky to move the antenna on the top of the building to disrupt the awakening ceremony. Back at the park, Balthazar sneaks in but gets spotted by Horvath. He fights his former best friend while Morgana slowly revives the Morganian all around the world. He summons a huge steel bull to attack Balthazar, but luckily Dave arrives and attacks Horvath with the car while the steel eagle snatches the bull away. Just before Morgana's circle is completed, Becky moves the antenna which cancels the ceremony and knocks Morgana unconscious. Balthazar absorbs Morgana's soul from Veronica's body, freeing her. After that, he orders Dave to trap him in the Grimhold, but Veronica refuses. Morgana leaves the body and finally stands with her own body. She casts a fire blast towards the group, but Dave eventually manages to block it without the help of a ring. Balthazar receives the damage of Morgana's plasma bolts when he tries to protect Veronica. Thanks to Dave's knowledge in physics, he manages to attack the evil sorceress with high-voltage thunderbolts and defeats her after it ruthlessly strikes her with the plasma bolts. Balthazar is dead after trying to save Veronica, but Dave manages to resurrect him with his magic spell. The couple then kiss, and Becky finally reveals that she accepted him as his boyfriend, written in the note he gave ten years earlier as they kiss for the first time. At the end of the movie, it is seen Horvath takes his hat from Balthazar's shop, indicating that he is still alive. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.